See our question. It's a conclusion question. For any conclusion question, a conclusion is based on the facts given in the passage. Read the passage. Know the facts given in the passage thoroughly when you read them. So you don't have to reread the passage. And you can immediately identify the conclusion. By 2030, India's population is projected to be more than four times that of the US. So by 2030, Indian population four times US. Yet India's total emissions are expected to be lower than that of the US and its per capita emissions are still a fraction, a small fraction of those of the US. Population of India, four times that of the US. Emissions of India, a fraction of that of the US totally and per capita also. This reflects a global fact. Countries that represent 12% of the population account for 50% of the emissions that have warmed the planet over the last 170 years. People who live in the world's richest countries consume a lot of energy. They drive long distances in big cars. They crank up air conditioning in their offices. They eat a lot of red meat, another huge source of emissions. They throw away a lot of food. So what is he saying? Indian population... Four times that of the US. By 2030, it will become India's emissions, a fraction of that of the US. It's a fact. Richer countries spend more energy, have more emissions, waste a lot of food and create a lot more emissions by all this way. All right. Which one can be concluded? India is, as India is developing, a fraction of its population is consuming a lion's share of its energy. Did it talk about the distribution of... Uh, Energy consumption in India, no. It just gave India as an example of population and emission. Went on to talking about richer countries. A is out of scope. Developing countries will report similar figures as their economy is yours. That's your conjecture. That's not been given in the passage. Passage doesn't talk about other developing countries at all. So that cannot be my conclusion. More people does not necessarily mean more greenhouse gas emissions. Could this be correct? India has more people, but greenhouse gas emissions or any emissions, whatever emissions he's talking about, when you talk of emissions, you're talking of greenhouse gas emissions. So that would be, looks correct. Let's look at D. The affluent citizens of the world are solely responsible we believe so, but we don't have to say it. No, it cannot be concluded from what is given. Solely responsible for adverse um, um, environmental impacts, we can't say. The developing nations are scapegoats and victims of environmental destruction wrought by affluent nations. The problem is, yes, that may be true. But here the passage talks about India having a greater population than the US, less emissions than the US and then he talks about how affluent countries and citizens in affluent countries cause emissions. Therefore, nothing has been said about developing countries. So we can only generalize in terms of population taking India's example. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Get my idea? Since he has not mentioned developing countries, we can generalize India as developing countries, but we cannot blame them because the passage hasn't given anything. It just says they they have more emissions, they have a smaller population. So that is our conclusion.